Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, well, let me give you a, a brief intro. This channel is all about travel, vlogs, and everything that has to do with coverage of events. And also, I also once in a while do reviews. So if this is your first time of coming to my channel, welcome. In today's video, I am honored and privileged to have a new product or review and it's the Microsoft Surface Headphone 2 this is a second edition this is edition 2 I think the first one was announced in 2018 late 2018 if I'm not wrong so last week Microsoft announced an upgrade to it this and also released it on the 12th of May 2020 so this is it and I'll be giving the unboxing this device from the reviews from the first from the first uh, version one it got good reviews people compared it with uh, the likes of Bose and Sony so this is edition two and let's see what's in the box so once you open the box you're greeted with the main case the carry-on case of the Microsoft Surface Headphone 2 looks pretty good well designed and nice finish so let's see what else is in the box Also in the box you have uh, user manuals and other information that has to do with warranties and support from Microsoft for the device. And we open the case and we are greeted with the headphone itself. Inside the case, you have manual instructions and also instructions on the gestures and everything that has to do with controlling the, the headphone. You have the headphone jack and the USB-C cable for charging. Also, the headphone, the power button, and also where you press to set up for Bluetooth, the 3.5 headphone um, jackpot, where you could plug the cable, the USB C port. Overall, the device is well built and well designed, so let's go and talk more about the device. This time, version 2 comes in in matte black and it's really nice. It has like a nice soft texture, it's flexible, you can turn it left and turn it right, and it also kind of um, has like the usual soft touch here so you can also adjust it here yeah. you can adjust it here yeah. so it can suit any head size I um, let's see I know I know I have a big head and I know that so it fits my head and it's kind of has a soft texture 
and covers the whole part of your years so you tend not to hear anything from your surrounding and also this you could use to reduce the volume and this side you could use to turn on and increase or reduce ambient sound and the surface has the surface headphone 2 has over 13 levels of noise cancellation meaning you can turn it up or turn it or turn it out this is really good I had a 24 hours of testing it out and it was really good I literally didn't hear a dime from my surrounding it was quiet and I really love the way it is I've tried out headphones from Sony and I've tried out headphones from um, uh, Bose I've also tried out um, the Beat by Dre's but this has a nice design in a way it's it's noise cancellation levels are on top top level it's on a class is it the headphone is in a class of its own so it, it came with a uh, with a jack in it so in case you don't want to use Bluetooth you could just simply use you don't want to use Bluetooth and you feel you, you want to use the, the headphone jack with your laptop or your monitor or if your, your smartphone but most of the modern smartphones now don't come with a headphone jack if your device you has a headphone jack you could simply use this version 1 had exceptional mics mics and this is no different this comes with two two uh, dual dual mics meaning you have crystal clear call quality and meaning when you're making your calls whoever you're making the call to put here and listen to you to clear also uh, the the surface the surface headphone 2 has 20 hours according to microsoft has 20 hours of battery life especially when you use it with bluetooth and the anc the noise cancellation and take note it may vary based on usage and the way you set the headphone from the app also the app you could set it the way you want from the app and the app is available also on android it's available Windows 10 and it's also available on iOS so you can get the app and set up the headphones. Let's check out how it is to set up the, the device. I'll be using the Samsung Galaxy S10, S20 Ultra in setting up this headphone and let's go through the process and see how easy it is to set up the Surface Headphone 2. So you go to the Surface Audio app and it, when the app loads you select the Surface headphones you accept the terms and conditions then you allow it to have access to your phone you give it permission and it connects and starts scanning your Bluetooth to connect to your phone and after that, it is as good as you accepting, giving it access to your contact, and voila, you're ready to go. It asks you if you heard a sound. Now I'll show you how to control your headphones with touch. Turn the dial on the right to control volume, and the one on the left to control noise cancellation. Adjust the volume on the right. Turn the dial forward to increase the volume and backward to turn it down. Adjust noise cancellation on the left. Turn the dial forward to hear less sound around you and backward to hear more. Next, you can play and pause music by tapping the touchpad on either ear. Great! So on the home screen, you can now see the battery life. You can see the device info, pairing, equalizer, and you can go through everything and see set it the classic jazz, pop, rock, and whichever sound vibe feel you feel you could use. And you could also, on the setting page, 
change the name of your device to whichever name you feel which makes it more identifiable when you're searching for your bluetooth for bluetooth devices then also it's advisable to always search for firmware updates so that your device is up to date it, it, it would take about two hours to fully charge the headphone and also when it comes to the gestures um, the left is for the noise cancellation so you just have to dial it left or right to either decide if you want to switch out distractions meaning the left is for noise cancellation and the right is mostly for the volume up and volume down so you just have to turn it left or turn it right to control the volume and also for the gestures um, the gestures work in, on both sides of the uh, of, of the headphone you could you, you single you you single tap for to, to play or pause you double tap to play the next song or to answer or end the call you triple tap to to go to previous track or you touch and hold to decline a call so the gestures are kind of the same with version 1 but I guess Microsoft has enhanced it because from my 24 hours you, uh, my, my, 20, my 24 hours time with the headphone it really worked really well it was loud it was clear and I had time to go to the to the surface audio app to fine-tune the sound to the way you want it it's always advisable to fine-tune the sound to the way you want it so it's been so far a good experience with the surface headphone two so in conclusion this is a good bag this headphone comes at 249 dollars which is about 250 dollars and if you ask me shall you when you compare the likes of both um, headphones from bose or sony or apple this is good value for money i highly recommend the microsoft surface headphone 2 if you can afford it $250 compared to the rest this is good value you're getting pretty much decent battery life of 20 hours you're getting um, an active noise cancellation which is highly effective and very good it's soft the foams are soft the it's really flexible and it was you could tell that Microsoft put in everything in the design of this headphone so to the next video don't forget to like this video to share it and also to subscribe till next time stay safe